Hi guys and welcome back to this video. So today I want to talk about how to become a nurse. I feel like the process for becoming a nurse can be a little bit overwhelming and confusing so I want to kind of lay it out there for you guys. Also this is going to be geared towards nurses that are working in the United States. I know I have a broad range of people who watch my videos so I'm not quite sure as far as the international process or the process for becoming a nurse in the United States if you are already an international nurse. Just throwing that out there because I know I'll get a lot of questions on that. But before we get started I wanted to share a little bit about today's video sponsor Vessi. is a shoe company that invented the first 100% waterproof shoe, which is perfect for the nursing world because I can't tell you how many times I've splashed urine, um, blood, even feces on my shoes. It's gross, seriously, it's gross. So to have something that is 100% resistant to fluid is absolutely necessary in the shoe world for nursing. <laughs> when I first put these shoes on, I felt like I wasn't wearing shoes. They're super lightweight. They feel like you're not wearing anything on your feet. They're very breathable so they don't get hot, which I hate when you're working and you're already getting hot because you're wearing scrubs and if you're in a contact room wearing gear, it just gets hot. So to have shoes that are breathable, they're also 100% vegan and have antimicrobial insoles, which um, antimicrobial speaks to our nursing hearts. So I love these shoes. They are very comfortable and I get a ton of people that ask me, what shoes do you wear for your nursing shifts? And I 100% recommend these. So the link for Vessi will be down below. Make sure you check them out. They also have a 60 day money back guarantee. So check them out. Okay, so the process for becoming a nurse. If you are interested in becoming a nurse and you are in high school, I recommend starting your search for nursing schools while you're in high school. Obviously, if you're out of high school, then you'll just you'll start your search then. But the first step is going to be to search for a nursing school. And in particular, look at the requirements for entering that nursing program. So for my college, I had to do about two years of prereqs and then I entered into the actual nursing program. So look to see what they require for getting into that program. Some require um, a HESI score, um, some require that you just take do well enough on your prereqs. There's a ton of different ways to get into nursing programs depending on which school you go to. So start your research to see what GPA does it require, what other content or criteria do they have for getting into nursing school. Also, little pro tip for you guys, if you're in high school, if you can be doing some of your prereqs while you're in high school, for example, if your school offers AP testing or dual enrollment credits for classes like bio, anatomy, physiology, chemistry, all those courses, start taking some of those if you can so you can check off some of your prereqs for when you actually want to enter into a nursing program. So step one is finding a nursing program that fits in your life and you meet the requirements. Step two would be to actually apply to get into that nursing program. Again, this looks different depending on which one you're gonna go into. So once you get into a nursing program, you are going to complete said program. And after you're done, you will take your NCLEX, which is the national licensure exam for nurses in order to get your registered nursing license. So even when you graduate nursing school, you are not a registered nurse. You have to take this licensure exam. Sorry, that's such a weird word to say before you can become a nurse. Once you have your RN or your registered nursing license, then you can get a job as a nurse. Some places have different criteria for this. Some will let you get a job first but won't start you until you have your license. Some jobs will do more of an internship as they're waiting for you to pass your NCLEX. So this can look differently depending on where you're at, but for the most part, you will always have to have your registered nurse's license before you can work 
as a nurse. I hope this kind of simplifies and clarifies some things. I know the process can seem a little bit intimidating, but just take it one chunk, one step at a time, and always be looking ahead to see what requirements are going to be required of you to make sure you're not missing any classes, that you're doing well enough in your classes to get into nursing school. Also, if you guys are needing some help in nursing school or any resources, I'm gonna link those all down below. Make sure you check those out. Thank you to Vessi for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys check them out as well and check out their shoes. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.